Okay. So I always the way I always learned things in um in programming class and I, I just finished uh, a programming course on Java, was that arrays were just like you called the array and then you called the index and it just gave you the number. I just learned it like it was, it was magic. Um, I didn't really know how they worked until I tried doing this. Um, data is an array wrapper which contains a pointer in it. Um, so the double, it's a pointer to a double, but it can also point to an array of doubles. So in the main function here, I create an array of doubles of size five, send it into array wrapper, and in C++ that automatically degrades to a pointer. But now, to call it like an array, all I have to do is call data.n as a pointer. Remember, that's the pointer here. And then it points to the location in memory where n is. So I did not know that they were right next to each other. So to get the next uh, element in the array, I can just add one to the pointer. Like, I couldn't, we don't have pointers <laughs> in Java and uh, C Sharp. They're not there, or I think they're in C Sharp, but they're discouraged. And I didn't know this about C++ and I guess normal programming languages. That is so cool.